Hey, hey developers, so today I was clicking around YouTube and I saw a video titled Vue.js Explained in 100 Seconds by Fireship. So I thought maybe I would go ahead and take a look at this and see what other people think about Vue and can you teach Vue in about 100 seconds? And me being the self-proclaimed king of Vue on YouTube, I thought this would be a fun experiment to see you know what you guys think. Hey, and if you like this type of video, make sure you smash that like button. Yeah, let's just jump into it. Vue.js, it's a JavaScript framework for building front-end UIs. In Vue, you can start simple and then progressively add in the tools and features that you need to build a complex web application. Yeah, I mean, exactly, that's what it is. It's it's the, called the progressive framework. So I already like how this video is starting off with, going over what it is. Yeah, so let's keep going. At its core, it provides a way to build components that encapsulate data or state in your JavaScript and then connect that state reactively to a template in HTML. We call these components declarative views because the same data inputs will always produce the same output in the visual UI. When we declare data on this data object, it links or binds it to the HTML in the template above. When the value of the data changes, the component will automatically re-render. Or in other words, it's reactive. Yep, he's absolutely right. This is actually the options API. So it's a little bit outdated. A lot of view developers still use the options API, but we do have something called the composition API, but the basics are the same. We have this reactive data that you can change in between the script. It updates the template. It's kind of, it's bound and it's reactive in that way, much like React and other frameworks. And the framework does a ton of work under the hood to make sure that this process is performant across a huge component tree. We can work with this data in the template thanks to Vue's HTML-based template syntax. We can interpolate. Yep, and it's sometimes called like the mustache syntax, but yep, that's how we do it with the double curly brackets. It's good to know too, if you're learning free Vue for the first time, this is the way you should probably learn Vue. However, you can opt out of this and use JSX. In fact, if you use Vite, um, it even asks you in the latest UI tools for Vue, it asks you if you want to install JSX. I do like this because it makes things very simple for people learning Vue. A value or expression using double braces. And we also have a variety of directives to control the behavior of the HTML based on the data. We can use vif to only render an element when the value on the right side is truthy. And then we might have a fallback element after that that's only rendered when the value is falsy with v else. We can make the app interactive by listening to events. It's worth noting too that you do have vif, you have v else, you have v else if. You also have some other directives that make things easier. There's v show. There's a whole bunch of different directives that you can use that make your life easier in the view world. Using the v on directive, we can listen to an event on an element then run some code to handle that event on the right side. We can do that directly in the template or define a custom method in the component's methods object. The method has access to our reactive data, and that means all we have to do is change the value of the data and the component will automatically re-render. I like how simple he puts that. It's definitely that easy with that von directive. I may, my face may have been blocking it, but there's the at, which you can use to as a shorthand instead of typing in von all the time. He also didn't mention other things like computed properties, which I find really helpful and useful. It usually, it's a way to like cache different values of either any of those values and your computer property change the, it uh, recalculates. It's a little bit more powerful than using methods. So far, I'm impressed by this 100 second video. An interactive reactive declarative UI component with Vue. The framework is loved by developers for the simplicity, but also its ability to scale up in complexity incrementally. Its plugin system allows you to easily drop in things like a router, state management, Firebase support, and more. Yep, you can definitely use this plugin system. It's really similar in Vue 2 and Vue 3. It's, uh, you can just add these in here. If you're using Vite 2, there's a whole plugin system in, within Vite as well, but that's more of the tooling behind it. It's not Vue specific, but that's usually how a lot of new Vue developers are creating new apps is on, on Vite as well. Also in the Vue CLI world, there's there's a whole plugin system inside there too, if you're interested in looking into that. I did a whole video on how to create a Vue plugin if you're interested, uh, I'll put a link up here. And perhaps best of all, it's not sponsored by some mega corporation. It's not pressured to push out new releases all the time and does a great job listening to its community. This has been Vue.js in 100 seconds. One note on that, yeah, definitely unlike Facebook that has React or Angular that has Google, uh, Vue is its own platform, its own framework. It doesn't, it's not backed by any big corporate entity. I will say though, that was really cool since everything's open source, you can support the community creators, which I'd highly recommend. 
you, you can go to the GitHub repo. There's a whole bunch of core members and a lot of them uh, have ways you can donate money to them. And also Evan Yu, is his, it's his full-time job to work on Vue and Vite and his other projects. And he gets that by his own Patreon, but he also has sponsorships. So if you put a sponsorship on the Vue homepage, he gets some, some of that. It's a really cool ecosystem that they created here that we have developers that actually get paid to work on Vue and to make it better. Yeah, I would say overall, I'm really impressed by this video. Uh, in 100 seconds, he definitely hit the the high points of Vue, the simplicity of it, the reactivity of it, how to use directives. Uh, it would have been nice if, if it would have been like three or four minutes more longer, he could have gone into computed properties, the new composition API. The script setup API actually is a lot different. And I think that's where the Vue ecosystem is moving. And I wish he would have covered that, but maybe during the time this video was created, maybe that wasn't really a thing. Yeah, I, I like this video, I'll check it out. I'll make sure there's a link to it in the bottom in the description. If you guys like me doing these react, me to react these to these type of videos, let me know. And uh, I'll do a few more of them, thanks.